That belt and add the WBA Super Bantamweight title as well. Fighting division, so much talent. We talked about uh, Daniel Roman, Figueroa, Raisa Lim, Michael Conlon, this side of the Atlantic. A win here, or will Akhmadaliev build on that uh, earlier success, becoming Uzbekistan's first unified world? Shout pause coming out. Some good jabs landed from Akhmadaliev. Good backhand. Travel, but it was, was just said, well, listen, I'll go with the fight, so. He lunged in a bit with that lead right hand, Akhmadaliev. Nation. In a leisure centre, a little sports hall in Bristol, no atmosphere. And uh, he just wasn't right that night. But Some pay encounter. Body shot comes in there from MJ. Might have been a little bit low, but it was on the blind side of the, uh, the referee there. Ah, the first one. This is only his ninth pro fight. Winning a world title in his eighth. His whole career has been in the United States. He is based out of Indio. On his back foot here, and that jab is starting to become a bit of a weapon already here. He's been just cutting the ring off nicely. Just edging forward ever so slightly every time. Yeah, just... Uh, not landing at all. And he's happy to just close him down here at Medaliev. Keep that pressure. Well, it's necessary at this stage so early on in the fight. Is wow, that, it, is so sharp. Yeah. Just chopping overhand left hand from the southpaw stance goal. He's fell short with it a couple of times, but it's only going to be... Ended clean. Good stuff. And then there's yeah. that overhand left hand yeah. I was talking about. He, it, it's, it's a matter of time before he starts... There he goes again game. with that lead back hand. He was with another... Borderline, but overhand left hand, Akhmadaliev. Good, good right hand work, lead hand work from him. It's a spike leading off with the left hand, yeah, but it's, it's working it's, for him. Yeah, yeah, he's not bringing it into play off the jab, he is leading with that left hand. As the fight goes on, that will start to find the target. Yeah, and those jabs will help. Does set a nice pace, doesn't it? Bringing in the right hand again. Relaxed. He, he's got a nice style, the way he fights and the way he holds himself. But just sometimes, you know, he's getting the, the shots are landing now. He's, he's taking far too many shots. I can see the, the look on Ahmed Zalia's face, how, how, how focused he is and how switched on he is. Discourage the forward progress of Mirojan Akhmedaliev here, which he's not able to do. Really? Iwasa, more jabs landing. Tough as anything as well, Iwasa. Tough, durable. So far from Akhmedaliev. Talented, really talented to do something like this in, in so, so few fights. Signs of encouragement there for him. In the last few seconds of this third round. WBA and IBF super bantamweight belts on the line against the former IBF champ Ryosuke Iwata. The body jab coming in as well from MJ. Throws the bad the jab to the body really nice as well. Bit of blood from the nose of MJ there, like after Maliev. Oh, MJ is so much easier, isn't it? It is. <laughs> after Maliev, it's good to see quality fights like this though between good opponents. Yeah, good, good good fighters really at this level. Yeah, it was a good game. The, the, the sort of the ring generalship of him, the, the, where he keeps his feet, where he when he moves, he's he's comfortable in there. Confident attacks behind the good jabs. Shot. That's a good shot there. Yeah, set that, up. He landed it there. It's a good shot. Look for there it again. There you go again. That was a nice shot again, and a little, little right up cut inside from him. So nice response from him. Reluctant to throw it, but that was a nice left counter that he did land there. I think it's just one of them habits that from MJ finishing the round strong. Time I'd seen Akhmedaliev take a couple of backward steps. Again, no, oh, I don't want to be taking these. He's getting caught clean. Now he back. Nick, he faint. He, he threw two jabs to the body. He got a reaction from the Wasen and he banged the uppercut in. Yeah. And it started this barrage. And there's an even more of a from Akhmedaliev. Is absolute world class, head and body. I love that combination. What he started this round with, he just for the first minute. He's absolutely quality. And then he's coming back just as it was up. 
Looked like he was on the back foot. It's Here he goes, and he Ooh, stopped it. I oh my! Former world champion and is challenging for another world title tonight. He's technically classed as interim champion. Shots of his own, and then Akmedaliev came again, and I couldn't believe the referee stepped in there. I was like, "What on earth are you doing?" There's a lot landing that they didn't nick, they didn't nick the bantamweight division, where the punch volume is a lot more than any other fighter. I don't think he's in performance from Akmedaliev, but he'd ridden out that first spell of pressure, had some had some success. He may have came back. He's a strong, tough fighter, very durable, very dignified. There, shaking Class. referees. I think it's a soft stopper, Jan. Unfortunately. But it was there. We, we, we've been denied there. He was in serious distress there. I, I, I totally agree with you. The referee's job is the para, is paramount. Is the, is the fighter's safety. There's of a heavier weight. They're not weight drained. It's so early in the fight. You know, it's not even... From someone who's notably durable, the, the referee should do his homework on these fighters anyway and know that this is a... Iwasa graciously accepts defeat. His cornerman can't Tight stop it. Fight that early. Exactly, Nick. And I think it, I, I'm not saying Iwasa was going to win. I think it was only going to be stopped prematurely or or earlier than expected. I think he will have wanted to finish. I mean, it, not not quite punch perfect.